And welcome to the Key Forge Premier League. No, I'm just kidding. We're not starting yet, but we do have some breaking news for you guys. Um, we have decided on what the twist was going to be for our league. Um, we are playing Archon Adaptive. We have definitely agreed on that part, but the part that's going to be really cool for you guys to know is that you're going to each get to register three decks. And those three decks are going to be open to your decision on which one you want to play every round. So every game you play, you are going to present your opponent with your three deck list. They're going to get to look at it. And then you're, you're going to get to look at their list. And then you're going to get your decks back. And you're going to look at your three decks. You're going to pick one of the three decks. And you're going to play that deck for, uh, for Archon. So that is the the catch like to the the the, the so, so to say spice that we're throwing into this is that you basically get to look at your opponent's three decks get, see what they're bringing to the table to play against then you get to basically pick a style that you think is going to be best for your opponent to have to deal with in the archon adaptive format um it also gives you a little bit of a heads up of what they're going to be doing um with their deck right because uh you're going to get some information ahead of time of what their deck is doing um it's going to be open lists the whole way through so um, but they have the variable of having three different decks that they could put on the table to play against you. And that I think is going to make for exciting times. At least that's what, what the, uh, the committee has decided would be an exciting, uh, twist to that event. Um, as far as the qualifiers go, I know people are starting to itch to get, uh, information about the qualifiers. Um, you will get the official announcement on the 24th of August. That's that's basically the week, the Monday after the weekend that um, the registration for pre-registration closes. Um, and we're going to start laying out all the details. And you can probably bet that the first qualifier will probably be around September 5th. And you can probably mark off every Saturday for that month of September as a opportunity for you to qualify for the league. Um, we have no further details on that. Like I said, the official announcement will come. Uh, a couple days after we close the registration here in October, so they it will come, it, or not October, sorry, I went the wrong way. It's going to be in August on the 24th. Um, so stay tuned for that. I hope that you guys are excited and you guys are itching to get into this. Um, each of the different qualifiers will be a different format, so um, the formats will be announced on the 24th as well. And I hope that you guys are having some anticipation anxiety because that's what we're building for right here, right? We want the drama, we want the excitement, the energy, right? Um, and again, like I thank you guys all because without you guys, this community in this league just wouldn't matter. Like, so hopefully, this is going to be a great thing for you and you're going to enjoy your time. Invite friends on over. Send them over to www.keyforgepremierleague.com. I'm putting up videos um, and information there for new players and old players alike. We're doing podcasts now. The, the link is there. Um, it's the KFL KFPL on Anchor is the um, the new tag for that. Um, I'm basically going to be doing any of the players that want to do bios and get basically try to uh, get you to know some of the way they think and the mindsets and stuff. Um, we're going to have some fun. On that, of course, hijinks. Um, and then we have, like I said, the website, www.keyforgepremierleague.com, um, has all the details for getting pre qualified. If you need to still be pre qualified, if you are a grand, uh, a grand champion, a Vault Tour winner, or in the top 10 of the leaderboard currently, you will. Um, get a pre instant pre-qualification into the league um, and then you will fill that spot. You will be done and after you do that, you're done until October. Um, October, the league will officially kick off um, and we'll have brackets and all that out to you shortly after the last qualifier. Um, what else do I have for you? I think that's about it. So with all that said, um, continue to tune into the YouTube here. Follow us on uh, Twitter at KeyforgeL is what we are going as. Um, there um make sure you share like and disseminate this information amongst all the people that you know that play keyforge if you're overseas it's really important um we want to hit the chinese demographic we want to hit the uh, italians and the uh, spanish and the french and all these people who play at a really high level the english as well i i i don't want you guys to feel like i'm leaving you out um the germans the, the Polish, right? That's where Duncaro comes from. He's one of the best players in the world easily. The Australians, the Philip McKays of the world. Um, 
we want all of you guys to participate and we want everybody to have a chance to be the champion um so it's not just a hundred bucks it's the prestige and the uh, adoration of the uh, the people around you and the top four people that place in league uh we have a different project that we may be starting off and uh that's a secret I'm not going to tell you about it until we get closer to that timeline, but we're going to have more events for you coming um, out of the crazy mind of the Fifth Planet Keyforge. <laughs> but um, it's going to be a, it, it's going to be a really fun community event once I get people to commit to it, and uh, basically I can tell you more later. So that's a teaser. Um, just stick tuned, stay tuned, and uh, understand that I have the best interest of the community at heart. I want you guys to have fun, and I want you guys get to, to get paid to play a little bit. So, with that said, also support our store on Decks of Keyforge. I made a Keyforge Premier League store. All profits that I, I have from any of the decks that are sold there will go straight towards funding for um, future leagues and stuff like that. Um, I made an initial commitment of about six boxes. I threw a bunch of decks in there. They are no more than $30 a piece at this point. The ones that have for sale on them, uh, my collection is intertwined with that. If it's not, has does not have a sale sign on it it is not for sale if those are my decks i'm not getting rid of them at this point um and if i do get rid of my decks i will auction them so um and then the auctions i might still use the proceeds too but who knows like um that's something i'm still trying to work out i will be very transparent with any of the monies that come in and go but know that um i have a zero sum that i'm, I'm looking to make off of this i just want to have lots of fun i want people to have motivation to play money is a good motivator if you don't under if you don't uh understand how i think about that go listen to the podcast i just did with philip mckay we had a pretty good little session in there where we talked about it a little bit so um again we got podcast we have twitter we have youtube we have the the um web page all contacts are on the opening page of the webpage, www.keyforgepremierleague.com. Um, all the links are there. There's hyperlinks. You can click on any of them. They take you to different facets of where information is. And do we make you Easter egg a little bit? Yes, we do. Why? Because we want you to look around and we want you to listen and we want you to enjoy the scavenger hunt and we want the anticipation. So with all that said, this is Jupiter from the Keyforge Premier League speaking on behalf of what the council has agreed upon and I wish you guys all the best of luck and the best forging of the keys to come I guess we'll say it that way but stay tuned again we're going to have this uh, the announcement again on August 24th about the pre -quali the qualifiers once the pre qualifier the pre qualified people are locked in. So thanks again and remember, Archon Adaptive three decks. Pick your poison every round, meaning every game, not just like you know the group stage all of the group stage. We're talking every, seven games in the group stage that you're gonna play. You get to pick seven different times. So keep that in mind and uh, start your planning if you think you're going to be there. <laughs>